Hey guys, welcome back to Delve In Inspire. I am Tiffany Van Reporting, and this is our political segment. So if you haven't been keeping up with the presidential elections and everything that's going on in the campaigns, don't worry because I got you. Well, let's get right into it. So let's talk about the top three people that constantly makes headlines, okay? Uh, that's Donald Trump, that's Joe Biden, and Nikki Haley. Now, I know some of y'all saying, who the heck is Nikki Haley? I'm going to get into that in a minute, okay? But first off, let's talk Joe Biden. So, who is running against Joe Biden in the Democratic Party? I'm not even going to get into that because they don't even have a chance in beating Joe Biden. But I will say who does have a chance, and that is Donald Trump, okay? Donald Trump is doing big numbers. Um, he, he's beating out Nikki Haley, his opponent in the Republican Party. Um, and, you know, he's just not giving up, okay? But on the flip side of that, most people are just not feeling Joe Biden simply because, one, you know, he's very forgetful. Um, some say he's, you know, getting a little too old to be running. You know, he's falling everywhere, tripping, falling off bikes, you know, just all types of things. And some may feel, well, some do feel that, you know, his time is up. But anyway, let's move along and let's talk about uh, Donald Trump's uh, opponent, who is Nikki Haley. Now, she was a former uh, governor, okay, and... She is uh, making some headlines right now because she says some things that a lot of minorities are looking at her kind of funny for, okay? So, but let's get into what she said as to why we like, uh, I don't know about this lady. Check this out. I was a brown girl that grew up in a small rural town. We had plenty of racism that we had to deal with. But my parents never said we lived in a racist country. And I'm so thankful they didn't. Because for every brown and black child out there, if you tell them they live or were born in a racist country, you're immediately telling them they don't have a chance. And my parents would always say, you may have challenges. And yes, there will be people who are racist. But that doesn't define what you can do in this country. And so I think it's important that we tell all kids that look, America is not perfect. We have our stains, we know that. But our goal should always be to make today better than yesterday. It's hugely important. And that's the problem I have is we have too many people with this national self-loathing. It is killing our country. We have got to go back to loving America. We are blessed because that little brown girl in that small rural town in South Carolina, she grew up to become the first female minority governor in history. She then went on to be UN ambassador and now she's running for president of the United States. I want every brown and black child to see that and say, no, I don't live in a country that was formed on racism. I live in a country where they wanted all people to be equal. Oh gosh, where do I begin? First off, Nikki Haley is not a brown girl. She is a white Indian American, okay? Clearly, I just find it very insulting when candidates get online or national TV and they start saying obnoxious things just to sound relatable or identify with the black and brown community simply to gain our votes. It is very insulting. Not only that, Nikki Haley wants us to turn a blind eye. She does not want us to educate our children on our history. Forget about our ancestors and why they died. America isn't racist and we should just live in this country and just be happy as if nothing never happened or does happen. Because racism did not disappear, it is still very much relevant. Moving on. Former President Donald Trump is looking real good out here, even though states are really trying to remove him from the ballots. He is still doing numbers remarkably. And that is kudos to him because this is a man that just doesn't give up. So if you need any inspiration, I'm going to tell you and keep it real, Donald Trump is the man you want to get inspired by. Because this man, no matter what people try to drag him through, no matter what people say about him, he continues to fight and just continues to just stand his ground and doesn't back down. And I love that about him. Hey, listen. 
it is what it is anyway make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you in my next video